What's up, guys? Welcome back to Nana's Reptile Room. Today, this is your host, Natalie, and his co host, Kevin. And today, this is, um, so this is the next host, who is That's Nile Monitor. So, this is Nile Monitor host. Say, and a quick update he's been doing very, very good, right? Yeah. What's up guys? So as you guys may already know, or if you're new to our channel, on Wednesdays we do the top 10 coolest reptiles of a specific country. Our last country was, do you remember which one it was? Bruh. Brazilian. Brazil. Brazil. And you can watch that right here. Somewhere over here. <laughs> what? But I don't see Brazil. <laughs> I was doing the... Thing, like we're gonna put a button up here but we also do now we've added another episode to that on Wednesday so every other Wednesday is our top 10 coolest reptiles video and then the opposite Wednesday is our coolest extinct or prehistoric reptiles you remember yeah and those are always really cool and this guy is saying hello hello as Natalie said last week was Brazil this week we are going to Indonesia and I by far think these are the coolest that we've done thus far. Indonesia is seriously cool. I've already showed you a few, so you know how cool they are. The absolute coolest thing about this country today yeah. is they are home to the biggest reptile in the world, saltwater crocodiles, the bigger, biggest lizard in the entire world, the biggest venomous snake in the entire world, and the reticulated python, the longest snake in the world. They have the most massive reptiles by far, right? Yeah, maybe one day we can stop there and look. I would love to go there and check out some of these reptiles. Yeah, but... We these better, ones are cool. Well, we better watch out for it. A lot of them. Yeah, we better watch out for it. <laughs> that one that's coming up right now. Oh, about to? Yep. So let's get right into it. And we're also doing this by the computer. We'll display the animals here so you won't see the computer or anything. So, starting off, number one on our list is the Burmese Python. So Can look I... at this guy. Oh. That is pretty cool looking, ain't he? Yeah, look at him. So, a cool little fact about the Burmese Python is a lot of people have them as pets. We've seen them at almost every reptile show we went to, right? Did people hold them? Oh yeah, there's people holding them. A lot that, of people have them. Is that the longest snake in the world? No, not yet. But, a cool fact about Burmese pythons is that we know the reticulated python is the longest snake in the world. Yeah. The anaconda is the heaviest snake in the world. And who's the venomous snake in the world? Oh, we're getting to him. But as far as the Burmese python, They've actually been recorded weighing more than the longest snake in the world, the reticulated python. So these guys can get even heavier than the world's longest snake. Yeah, very rare though. But so would you want one of these? That, would you want one of these as a pet? Um, probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but if you use your reptile, guys. Are those like the are those the heaviest python ever? I guess you would say the second heaviest behind the green anaconda. Oh. Pretty cool though. All right, and number two on our list, as you just mentioned, is the king cobra. <gasps> so this is one seriously cool snake. I absolutely love them. And that, as we mentioned, is the world's longest, biggest venomous snake in the Daddy, entire world. Daddy, maybe we can stop there and we can bring a snake cook and a box, a huge box, and we can keep one. Keep one? Yeah. Uh, I've seen plenty of reptile channels that they have pet king cobras, and I think they're awesome. I think that'd be a little dangerous for us. Why? A king cobra? Yeah. They're squirrely. I don't know about that. But I mean, as far as cobras go, the, if we find a frog, we can keep it. You'd rather a frog than a king cobra? Yeah. I would too. <laughs> yeah, because. But I mean, they are so amazing looking. It is incredible to see these guys on like 
we'll watch a YouTube video on them, but I mean, they are absolutely magnificent. I love them. Yeah. Really cool. Is that him again? Yep, that's another one. They've got some like dinosaur looking heads, don't they? Really cool. And coming up at number three on our list is the Hawksbill Sea Turtle. So check this guy out. So is this the heaviest? No, that was the Leatherback Sea Turtle. They're the biggest turtle in the world. But you know what he reminds me of? What? I think he is the actual turtle from Finding Nemo. You've seen that, right? Yeah. Finding Nemo. So there's the turtle in Finding Nemo. I'm pretty sure it's one of these. But I mean, we were talking about turtles today. I love yeah. turtles. That's like the only reptile we haven't found on our snake adventure. Yeah, but Daddy. What? If we do find one, we can we can play with it for a while and then we can let it go. Well, these guys we're probably never gonna play with because these are um, they live in the ocean. So they swim around in the ocean and they live their entire life in the ocean. Well actually, if you've ever seen like baby turtles hatch, they're placed in the sand on like a beach. They hatch, crawl out of the sand, and then make their way into the ocean. But they're really cute, baby sea turtles. Oh. Number four on our list. Let's see if you know what this one is. Only place one. No. Do you know what that is? No. That's a carpet python. So we actually used to have a carpet python, remember? Yeah, but daddy. What? Maybe we can keep one. They get pretty big, but I would love to have another carpet python. We could I keep... think they are like super underrated snakes. And we can keep one. If... Yeah, you can get them as pets. A lot of people have them as pets. We but can... I think they are like super underrated. I think they're beautiful snakes. If we find one and we can keep it. Oh, well, we'd have to go to Indonesia because they don't live around us. Yeah, they probably don't live in at movies. No, probably not. So making our way to number five is the yellow-bellied sea snake. I feel like we've done a lot of sea snakes on this channel, don't you? Yeah, but Daddy. Maybe I just really like them. Oh, Daddy, if we... Check him out. Yeah, but Daddy, if we find one at the beach, we could maybe keep it. Well, they're not around like Ocean City around us. There, we would have to go to like Indonesia to a place like that and find one. Can we go to Indonesia? Yeah, one day I'd love to. But I mean, sea snakes, I think we like the most because it's like so cool of how they evolve to adapt to the ocean. Like they have that fin-like tail. Yeah. Seriously cool. But the only downside to them is they are venomous. Oh. So. <gasps> Do you see, see that, that guy holding one? Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna bite him? Maybe. From what I've heard, sea snakes are usually like pretty, pretty laid back, pretty docile. But I mean, that's still kind of a risk. A lot of people have them as pets. I've never seen anybody with a sea snake for pets. So if you guys know of any channels that have sea snakes as pets, let us know. Yeah, maybe we could keep one. Nah, not here. So number six on our list is one of Daddy's favorite snakes all what time. What is it? Is the mangrove snake. So what check is... him out. The mangrove snake is one of Daddy's favorite snakes. I absolutely love these guys. The jet be... Are they venomous? They are venomous, but they're rear fang venomous, which again doesn't make them any less dangerous, but they're more like on the level of the false water cobra. Like it won't kill you. But I absolutely love the colors to these guys. That like jet black with the high yellow in them. That is a beautiful snake, is it not? Yeah, um, that is a pretty pretty <laughs> yellow. <laughs> that is a really pretty yellow. But I mean, ever since I seen these as a kid, Daddy's always loved these <laughs> snakes. Oh, check him out. Cool. All right. Number seven, getting close to the end, is the blue coral snake. So take a look at that guy. He's pretty cool looking, isn't he? Yeah, Daddy, if maybe we could keep one. So they don't have blue coral snakes around us, however, they do have... What place are they at? Indonesia, the oh. country we're doing. But they do have coral snakes around us. They're very pretty. I like the coral snakes around us. 
But I mean, if you guys watch like most beautiful snake videos, yeah. you'll usually see one of these in that video. Most people rank these as one of the most beautiful snakes in the world. Yeah. And I can definitely see why. Look at like the baby powder blue in them to a red head. That's crazy looking, ain't it? Yeah, it is. You think he's pretty? Yeah, with that wet head. Yeah, he's cool looking. Number eight on our list is another species or type of snake that we've done before, the equatorial spitting cobra. So we've done spitting cobras before, right? What's dangerous about spitting cobras? They can spit venom. They can spit it out. And what do they aim for? Your eyes. And if they go in your eyes... It could blind you. Yeah, it could blind you. You would never see ever again. It could. But I mean, they have some... Spitting cobras usually come in like some really cool patterns and colors, don't you think? Yeah. I like the... I forget when we did it but we did like the red spitting cobra. He was cool looking. But spitting cobra is kind of like on the same level of how uh, sea snakes evolved, is I mean, they are just absolutely the coolest. Are they not? They are cool. They are cool. <laughs> so our second from the very coolest of our list is the earless monitor lizard. So check this guy out. Tell me that doesn't look like a dragon minus the wings. Um, That's pretty cool, ain't it? Um, I did not. I thought it was a dragon. Not that one yet. <laughs> but these guys are a type of monitor lizard. They're a smaller monitor lizard that they only get about a foot. So just like this guy's a monitor lizard, they're a monitor lizard too. What do you think's coolest about them? Um, their wings. The rings? Yeah. Well, another cool thing is they've got like very pretty blue eyes. They've got like blue eyes on them. Do they have like the blue eye like me? Just like you. Kind of like the blue eyed ball python. But another interesting fact about them is you will usually see these on like the most expensive reptiles in the entire world. Like cost the most. I couldn't find any information or anybody selling them. However, I mean, if you guys do know of people that do sell them and roughly about how much, definitely let us know. But I've heard things of like upwards to ten to fifteen thousand dollars for one of these. That's a that's a car, basically. Crazy. And you ready for number ten, our coolest pick of Indonesia? Yeah. Is the one, the only, the Komodo dragon. That's a Komodo dragon. That's a Komodo dragon. So these guys are an absolutely massive monitor lizard. These guys get up to 10 feet plus. Guys, it's actually a Komodo dragon. It's a Komodo dragon, but they can grow up to 10 feet, weighing over 300 pounds. We that can definitely huge. not keep them. Oh, heck no. That thing would tear us up. He'd live in our house. Yeah. He'd run our house. And probably, we would <laughs> probably have to take everything out of our house. Yep, made another really serious thing about these lizards is that there have been multiple confirmed cases of people being attacked and killed by Komodo dragons. Yeah, so that's another reason we want to keep one as a pet. <laughs> Riley and Bella would be in serious trouble. However, I mean, those cases are incredibly rare. It's not like they're eating people every single day. And the last really cool fact about them is it was like long debated of whether Komodo dragons were venomous or if like they had just a bacteria in their mouth that was like yeah. really serious. Yeah. They have been confirmed venomous. So oh. a venomous lizard. That, he isn't a venomous little, but that is a really venomous little. That's right. Well, now monitors have been studied. They think they're venomous, oh. but maybe not. Yeah. But you remember when we did like the, uh, the mangrove monitor video? That's yeah. a venomous monitor lizard. Yeah. Have venom in them as well. Oh. These guys are a monitor lizard with venom. Yeah but a serious, serious animal. Yeah, um, these guys can run, they can climb trees, they can swim, 
they're bigger than a car and are venomous. I think I'd rather have a showdown with an actual dragon uh, than this guy. That is <laughs> a dragon, but he isn't a dragon. He's a dragon. But That's the real dragon? Yeah. He's probably the closest thing you will ever get to a real dragon. Yeah, he isn't a dragon, but that's a dragon. That's a dragon. Alright guys, so that does it for our top 10 video of Indonesia. We hope you guys liked our list. If you found this informative or if you agreed with some of our picks, make sure to leave us a like. Comment below which one was your favorite or which animals from Indonesia you would have added, reptiles from Indonesia you would have added, and consider subscribing because this coming Saturday we're doing another reptile, remember? Yeah. We got another care video. Uh. But thank you guys for joining us and our Nile Monitor and we'll see you on Saturday, right? Yeah. Saturday. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>